We are back into the Europa League in today's episode. PSV from the Netherlands are going to be our opponents. We've only played two matches, maybe three matches in between episodes. We beat Watford in the FA Cup. We also beat West Ham in the FA Cup, scoring a lot of goals. And a 2-2 draw against Man United actually was a pretty decent result. Sekumara is good at football. On this game, he's only played one and a bit games, two off the bench, one start, scoring two goals already. We might not have needed to sign anybody new up front. Before we jump into the PSV game, though, um, this is what our financial situation looks like because we spent a lot of money over the last, uh, well, I was going to say last couple of seasons. Over January, we spent a lot of money, didn't we? We spent £100 million in January. Wow, that was a lot of money. So, yeah, financially, we are in the red by a fair distance. It means probably if we were to do a season four, we wouldn't get a particularly big wage budget or transfer budget. For the opening match then against PSV, away from home, it's going to be Bazunu in goal, Livramento, Adarabao, Salisu and Renan Lodi in defence, Camavinga and Lavia in midfield, two of the best young central midfielders in the world on this game. That's a ridiculously good midfield. If we were to, say, play this for 10 seasons and keep hold of them, we would have the best central midfield partnership you could ever possibly find, I think. Ward-Prowse and Brobby on the wings. That's right, James Ward-Prowse is playing as an inside forward now because he literally can't get into that midfield. Endrick and Makoko will be up front. Our central midfield options are insane. With Lavia, Camavinga, Ward-Prowse, we've also got Dewsbury Hall, we've got Onyeka, we've got Bruno Guimaraes. We've got some ridiculously good footballers. We've got Diallo, who's probably our sixth best central midfielder. And look at how good he is. We could probably sell him for about 30 million easily. So I realised last season, we ended by saying we'd qualified for the uh, Europa Conference League, because I think at the time we did. Um, I don't know why. I can't remember exactly why we're in the Europa League proper. I think it's because somebody like a Spurs or something like that won the, uh, won the Premier League. Not Premier League. FA Cup, sorry which meant that everything kind of shifted down a little bit and stuff like that. So, yeah, that is the reason why we are actually in uh, in the Europa League rather than the Europa Conference League. 12 minutes, 13 minutes on the clock. Benitez with the ball, drops it to his feet, kicks it long to nobody. Salisu's controlled it for us. That's good to see. Backwards, ideally, that's what we want. There you go. Gavin Bazunu in goal. Forwards, find Salisu again. Are we going to slowly build forward? Or are we just going to go for a big lump upfield like that? Ward Prowse is going to run onto the end of it. He's got two in the middle, a couple more joining. Ward Prowse keeps trying to go it alone, has his shot easily held by Benitez. That was not the uh, the optimal decision there, James. That should have been a pass across to the two midfielders, strikers, whoever. Somebody would have been in the box. Well, the match momentum graph has turned up, which is showing that PSV are having literally no momentum, which means they are probably going to score at some point. It is Ob Obispo? Is that his name? Boscagli? Sanagre loses out. It's a double slide tackle from Makoko and Camavinga, which is ridiculous that both of those are playing for Southampton and have signed for Southampton as well. Boscagli again with the ball. Long ball towards Cody Gakpo, but it's absolutely nowhere near him. Livramento to Adarabayo. Ball forward. Endrick. Forward again, finds Makoko. Ward Prowse is on the right, does use him. Livramento needs to run down that wing. Adarabayo collects it down the line. Ward Prowse with acres of space. Ball forward towards Makoko. It doesn't get over the defence. Now PSV can possibly come forward. Maybe not. Makoko to Brobby into the penalty area. And Brian Brobby tucks that ball away into the opposite corner. We have taken the lead against PSV. Brobby is the man to do the business. Carlson with a corner for PSV towards the front post. And it's actually hit the back post, I think it was, and Salisu clears it for another corner that we are going to see. I assume it's going to be the same corner taker, Carlson, it is, who I think is their lead striker as well. Number six whips the cross in towards the back post, header clear from Tosin Adarabayo. Vermeen keeps this alive, potentially. No, he doesn't. Carlson again with the corner. Lots of corners for PSV at the moment. Bazunu can hold on to that. That is good. That's what we like to see from the Republic of Ireland international goalkeeper. He's walking around as well, so something still might be coming from this. Salisu to Renan Lodi, the left-back, who's very attacking for a left-back in terms of attributes. Liv Romento with acres of space on the right-hand side. Ward Prowse in front. I think it's probably Endrick as well in front as well. Liv Romento's still going all the way down the line towards Makoko. Doesn't find him. We need to get there first, and we do. Lavia to Lodi. Ball forward. Makoko heads nowhere near anybody because it wasn't, it wasn't Makoko. That's why. It was somebody else. And now PSV broken through the lines. Simmons or Simons is in, plays it across to Gakpo. He's in on goal as well. And it is a wonderful, wonderful block by Tosin Adarabayo. PSV are starting to get back into this tie. 
And we've got, what, a minute left of injury time to play. Carlson's corner comes in towards the back post. Salisu heads clear for another corner. One of these corners they're actually going to take. They're actually going to take their chance. And let's hope it's not this one. It is not this one. Sangare heads over the bar. It looks like it's going to be 1-0 to Southampton at half time. We have been the better side until there. And then they just went absolutely nuts and just had a ridiculous amount of chances. What happened? We just stopped. We scored the goal and then stopped. No changes for us as we go into the second half. And straight away, we have a highlight. PSV obviously on the ball. Kamavinga steals that ball away for Southampton. First time we've really seen Kamavinga and it's taken 45 minutes for him to really get involved. Endrick is in on goal. He has rattled the inside of the post, but he hit it so hard it went out for a goal kick from the inside of the post. I don't even know how that's physically possible. Renan Lodi with a throw to Romeo Lavia. Back to Lodi. Does a weird spin for some reason on the touchline. Across Kamavinga. Facing away from goal. Lavia collects it. Long range effort from Lavia. And that is a top bins from Romeo Lavia. His fourth goal of the season. 2-0 up away from home against PSV. This is starting to look like we definitely are in control of the game. Even though PSV have got a better XG. PSV have literally got double our XG as well at the moment. Kamavinga collects it for us. 51st minute. Still not far into the second half. Kamavinga loses. Keeps hold of it actually. Endrick spins, invites, I was going to say invites Lodi for, but it falls to Brobby instead. Now Renan Lodi crosses the ball. It's a headed effort from Endrick, and it is 3-0, and we are starting to run away with this. I'll tell you what, this 4-2-4 formation is pretty good when you are the better side. If you're the better side on paper, this works wonderfully well by the looks of it. Still no subs for us. I'm considering what we're going to do. I might wait until, until we see what happens at the end of this highlight. If this becomes 4 we are probably going to try and bring on some children. If uh, PSV come back into this, we might need to try and strengthen a little bit more. Makoko collects it on the left-hand side. Endrix in the middle. Doesn't manage to kick the ball at all, does he? Loses out. And now Mauro Jr. to Boscagli. Sanagre. Sanagre. Sangare, even. That's his name. Max. Just Max. Is that his whole name? Is he Brazilian? Is, is that like a nickname? I don't know. Gakpo gets it back to Max. Now Simmons or Simons. I still don't know. Vermeen's in on goal, and Joey Vermeen makes it 3-1. The game is definitely not over. Right, let's do some changes, and ratings-wise, everyone's doing very well. Salisu is going to come off. We're going to bring on Nianzu, our new signing. What else do we do? Do we do Kamavinga off? He's having a good game, but like I said, we've got some ridiculously good other sort of central midfielders that we can bring on. We're going to bring on Dewsbury Hall. Looking at our pass map, it seems to think that we're going down the left-hand side. That seems to be our approach for some reason. I don't know why. I've not told them to go down the left-hand side. That's just their decision. They thought that was the best idea. Lavia to Adarabio forward. Dewsbury Hall. Now Ward Prowse. We need Liveramento running into that space, not hanging back. Ward Prowse collects it. Plays it on the ground to Makoko. And Yusufa Makoko gets his 25th goal of the season. It's 4-1. We restore our three-goal lead. And once again, it's looking comfortable. Still not over. Still not even close to being over. We've got, what, 11 minutes? Plus injury time to play. Makoko collects it. Lavia back to Nianzu. Now Renan Lodi down the line. Brobby collects it. One of our goal scorers. Ball four towards Makoko. He's controlled it well. In on goal. Makoko hits the bar. It could have been five. We are four one up with four different goal scorers. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. We've got literally seconds left to play. So this is more time wasting substitutions. Alagby's coming on. We're going to take off Makoko as well for nobody. Okay, we'll keep both of our strikers on. Blanco's going to come on for Lavia. Can we do many more substitutions? Howard Bellis for Tosin Adarabo? We'll do that. I think that's probably all we can do. We've got four minutes of injury time, mostly because of all the subs I imagine that I've just done. And most of that has disappeared. We've got 30 seconds. Lodi with the ball to Endrick. Dewsbury Hall. Makoko goes for a little run. I thought Endrick was going to nick that off him instead. He's gone for a run himself. Endrick's going to collect this. And Endrick makes it five. His ninth goal of the season. Endrick and Makoko in this match have suddenly turned into the team that I was hoping they would be at the start of the season. Full time here then in the Netherlands. And it is a 5-1 victory and I think the scoreline makes it look a lot more comfortable than it actually was. PSV potentially should have scored two or three goals themselves. We might have got lucky. The Lavia goal was absolutely ridiculous. But I'm happy. 5-1 away from home victory means the second leg. We just need to not lose 4-0. So from a competition's perspective, we are looking likely to be going through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. We are currently sat mid-table in the Premier League. 
and starting to fall away from the European spots, you've got the top five that are arguably the best five in the league at the moment, I think. Then you've got Everton, who are just by themselves, four points clear of Newcastle. And then you've got this massive collection of teams from 7th all the way down to 13th, who are separated by, what, four points? It's not a lot of points, is it, separating those any of those teams. So we could finish 7th, we could finish 13th. At the moment, we are at the wrong end of that little collection, the little train of teams. We're going to go forward. We've got a league game to play, which I'm not even sure who it's against. Everton, apparently in two days' time. And we'll come back for the second leg against PSV, where, like I said earlier, we just need to not lose. So the Everton game went pretty well. We win the match 2-0 at home. Makoko with a brace scoring from the penalty spot as well. It means that we move ourselves up to 10th place in the table. However, teams below us... Brentford and Man United have two games in hand. Teams above us and obviously teams around us as well also have a game in hand. So it looks like we've moved up in the table. However, by the time they've caught up when it comes to matches played, we are probably going to drop down to back to where we were originally. Let's play PSV for a second time and let's maybe score five more. The starting lineup then for the second leg will be Inaki Pena in goal because basically we just need to not lose 4-0. And I want Peña to get some game time. Liveramento, Tosinado by Salisu and Lodi in defence. Camavinga and Lavia in midfield. That's the two midfield that I want to build this team around now at this point. It's Ward Prowse and Brobby on the wings. Allegby and Endrick leading the line. And it's because if we scroll down, we've got a lot of injuries. We've got, um, where is it? Uh, Livaja injured. We've also got Makoko injured. We've got a whole bunch of players as well unregistered like Mathis Tell. Mara is unregistered. Fat Fatawu, who actually played in the Everton game, is unregistered. Thierry Small, Kasunu, and a whole load of people. So it does mean as well on the bench, we've got some children. Who have we got on the bench? We've got Andy Evans. This is Andy Evans. Doesn't look awful, does he? We probably need to give you a contract as it expires in three months. We have Roman Gajewski, could be his name, who we signed in the first season. Came through our first youth intake, who doesn't look amazing, does he? But, you know, he's there on the subs bench. We also have Eric Dempsey, 17 years of age, came through last season's youth intake. And he might be good, he might be bad. It's going to be interesting to see how Endrick plays up front in the opposite position to what he normally plays. And normally, he plays on the right-hand side. Alagby's been sent off after four minutes. Has he been? Four minutes. Four minutes, Kazim. Okay, well, my talk about let's see how Hendrick's going to do playing as the uh, on the opposite side. He's now playing up front by himself. When this has happened previously for Saints in real life, uh, we normally lose 9-0. So I'm a little bit worried now. Gakpo with the ball. Losers out. Livramento and Lavia combining. Hendrick, no support anymore at the moment. Lovely through ball to find Brobby. Oh my word, it is 1-0 already. Sends the keeper the wrong way, puts it in the opposite corner. We have taken the lead, 6-1 on aggregate, down to 10 men as well. Max is going for a run with the ball for PSV. Ward Prowse with a good slide. Worried that that might have been flagged as a potential penalty. Gakpo gets past his man into the penalty area. It's cleared by, I think it was actually blocked by Ward Prowse and then cleared by Adarabayo. Simmons plays it back, ball forward. Maduake there with a headed effort goes over the bar. 1-0 still at the moment, PSV's first decent-ish chance. Salisu with a free kick. Big lump upfield towards nobody, really. Endrick's chasing it down, and Endrick has got there first. Oh, my word. Awful defending, awful goalkeeping. It's 7-1. Endrick with another goal to his name. I'll tell you what, this 4-2-4 formation is it's doing the business, isn't it? It is really doing the business. We're down to 10 men, and we are playing just as well as we were when we had 11 in the last match. Almost at half time, 30 seconds plus injury time. Maduake with the ball, plays it in the middle. Sangare's long kick over towards Gakpo and he controls it well. Needs some support. Two in the box, finds Simmons. Back to Gakpo, player who I tried to sign in the first season and he cost too much money, so we didn't go anywhere near him ever again. Peña with a decent save there. Half time, it is 2 0. And considering we've had 10 men since before that first shot was actually taken, we are looking very, very good. We're controlling position. I will say to you, I'm very angry at you getting sent off. No changes for us at the break. I'm looking at Ward Prowse. I'm looking at Livramento. Maybe bringing either of those off or maybe both of those off. Ward Prowse's passes. Yep. Yep. We're just... that's That was awful, mate. That was awful. We're, bring, we're bringing on Gajewski. I didn't think we'd do that, but we're bringing on Gajewski. Do we also bring on Eric Dempsey up front? We can't. We've only, we've only got Endrick. If we had two strikers, Dempsey will come on as well. But that, what was that from Ward Prowls? We sent everybody up and he just passed it straight to one of their players. Lolly to Salisu with the ball. Down the left-hand side. He's going to go for a run at the centre-back. Brobby back to Lodi. Forward again. Finds Brobby on the left. 
We've got two possible options in the box. Brobby needs some support. Has to go back to Salisu. This is a weird highlight. I'm not sure what's going on. Towards Ward Prowse, headed back by Max to Benitez. Nothing's happened. So far in this highlight, nothing has happened apart from I've subbed James Ward Prowse because he can't take three kicks, apparently. Kamavinga, awful pass from Kamavinga, and now PSV can come forward with the ball. Salisu closes it down, not quick enough. They've rattled the bar as well. Livramento can clear it, and the highlight ends. That was weird. Gajewski has come on because of that awful, awful free kick from Ward Prowse. I still don't understand why he did that. Pena to Adarabayo. What are you going to do? Take your time. Camavinga back to Adarabayo again. Livramento, 63rd minute. So there's still plenty of time for PSV to come back into this match. Probably not the tie. They've evened it up. It's 10 versus 10. Straight red card there from Max on the substitution. Or the substitute, sorry. What are they doing? They've got no width now. They're not quite sure what to do with Gakpo. Currently he's playing as an inverted winger behind the striker, which is impossible. Final 10 minutes of the match. We're going to take off Endrick. Eric Dempsey is going to come on. Do we do Andy Evans as well? We may as well. Let's bring on all the kids. We're winning the game. We're going to do Lavia coming off. Swap you two around. Don't know how many more subs we've got that we can actually do. So maybe we do Blanco as well for Camavinga. And we'll do Walker Peters as well for uh, coming on for Tino Livermento. So that's probably all the subs we're able to do. I think that's five. Final five minutes then. Is this going to be a third goal for us? Or are PSV going to get themselves a consolation goal in this tie? And the match, really. Brobby with the ball. Plays it through. Eric Dempsey, the substitute. The youngster. One of many youngsters that we seem to have. Dempsey tries to find space. Gajewski is there. And Roman Gajewski makes it a 3-0 on his debut in the Europa League. The two kids combining is 3-0. I'm so happy Gajewski scored. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Gajewski set up by Dempsey, who, to be fair, this was great bit of play from Dempsey. Gajewski's there, blasts it into the back of there as well. I've just seen old Evans here, Andy Evans. He's got a ridiculous mohawk. The full-time whistle goes on the south coast of England then. 3-0. And this pleases me. Gajewski getting a 7-6. Dempsey getting a 7-3. Endrick also on the score sheets as well. We've, we've played well against both of the two matches against PSV and the Everton game as well off camera. We've done very well, which means we have qualified for the final or the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Gajewski scores on his debut. That's good to see. We've picked up some cash. A leg B is banned for one match. I'm not going to appeal. I'm going to fine you for two weeks wages. There we go. It means next episode is going to be the Europa League quarterfinal. The draw. When does the draw take place? On the 21st of March. So we are not going to see the draw because we've got two games to play in between that. So next episode then we are going to find out who we are going to be playing in the Europa League. And then we're going to be playing them as well. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2023 with Southampton. If you did enjoy, do please remember to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll be back next time with more Football Manager, which might be in the full version of the game. I'm not quite sure yet.